Fitbit and its parent company, Google, have officially announced their newest fitness tracker, Fitbit Charge 6. This is the latest update to their advanced tracker line, and it will replace the Fitbit Charge 5. Just like Charge 5, the new Fitbit Charge 6 is swim-proof and has 24-7 heart rate tracking, best-in-class sleep tracking, built-in GPS, on-demand ECG, heart health notifications, and more. All with the same battery life of up to 7 days, depending on your personal usage. Three major features that currently differentiate the Charge 6 from Fitbit's line of smartwatches are that the Charge 6 does not have an altimeter to track floors climbed or elevation gain during workouts and it does not have a built-in microphone, so you cannot answer phone calls on your wrist. Nor does it have any voice assistant capabilities, meaning there is no Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. With that said, here are 10 new things to know about Fitbit Charge 6. Number 1. Design Fitbit Charge 6 is nearly identical to the Charge 5 in terms of its design. It has the same AMOLED color display with an optional always-on mode. It uses the same bands, which is great if you already have a Charge 5 and lots of additional bands for it and it has the same charging cable that uses USB Type-A. One major design difference, however, is that Fitbit has brought back the physical button. Charge 4 had a haptic button that was harder to activate than a real button, and Charge 5 had no buttons at all. Thankfully, Charge 6 has a true physical button on the left side that should make it easier to use than previous generations. The other major design difference leads us to number 2, improved heart rate tracking. Fitbit Charge 6 is supposed to have improved heart rate tracking during vigorous activities such as high-intensity interval training workouts, spinning, and rowing. Fitbit and Google state that their new heart rate algorithm is up to 60% more accurate compared to the Charge 5. I was impressed with the Pixel Watch's heart rate accuracy when it was launched last year, so I'm hopeful this claim is true. I will definitely be testing heart rate accuracy as soon as I get my Fitbit Charge 6, so consider subscribing if you want to see my results. Another new heart rate feature is number 3, heart rate broadcasting. Fitbit Charge 6 is the first Fitbit device ever that can connect to compatible exercise equipment or apps via Bluetooth. This means that your real-time heart rate, measured with your Charge 6, can be viewed live on another device during your workout. Connectivity has been confirmed for the latest models of iFit, Nordic Trek, Peloton, Concept2, and Tonal. Related to exercise is number 4, additional exercise modes. Fitbit Charge 6 will have more than 40 exercise modes available, including 20 new options like high-intensity interval training, strength training, and snowboarding. These will likely be the same exercise modes that are currently on the Sense2 and Versa4. Up next are some Google features, the first of which is number 5, Google Maps. Fitbit Charge 6 will join the Sense2 and Versa4 and be the first Fitbit tracker to have a Google Maps app. When you use the Google Maps app on your phone, you can see turn-by-turn -turn navigation on your Charge 6 as long as your phone is nearby. Another available Google app is number 6, Google Wallet. Fitbit Charge 6 also joins the Sense2 and Versa4 and will be the first Fitbit tracker to use Google Wallet for contactless payments. Do note that Fitbit Pay is being phased out and replaced by Google Wallet, so it won't be an option on the Charge 6. Up next are some completely new features, the first of which is... Number 7. YouTube Music Controls Fitbit Charge 6 is the first Fitbit to have a YouTube music app that allows you to start, stop, and skip over 100 million songs right from your wrist. Do note that this can only control YouTube music on your connected phone, you can't download songs to the device, and it requires a YouTube Music Premium subscription. Also note that this is the only music feature available on the Charge 6, and the Spotify app that is compatible with some older Fitbits is not compatible with the Charge 6. Another new feature is number 8, Zoom Plus Magnification. Fitbit Charge 6 is the first Fitbit device to have Zoom Plus Magnification, Fitbit's first ever accessibility feature. This feature allows you to magnify words on the display by tapping a few times anywhere on the screen. This could be helpful if the text is too small to read or if you prefer a larger font. Next up is another first for a Fitbit. Number 9, Google Account Required. Fitbit Charge 6 is the first Fitbit device that requires you to use a Google account instead of a Fitbit account to set it up. If you already have a Fitbit account, you'll keep all historical Fitbit data that you choose to move to your Google account. And finally, number 10, colors, pricing, and release date. Fitbit Charge 6 has three colors to choose from. First is a black case with an obsidian black silicon band. Second is a warm gold case with a coral silicon band. And third is a silver case with a porcelain white silicon band. Fitbit Charge 6 is priced at $159.95 in the United States and is estimated to start shipping by October 12. If you're still interested, you can pre-order the Fitbit Charge 6 now, and if you found my video helpful, you could use one of the links in the description below as a way to show your appreciation, as using my link below will provide me with a small affiliate commission at no extra cost to you. 
I've already pre-ordered my Fitbit Charge 6, and as soon as it's delivered, I'll start posting videos of my unboxing and review. So if you want to see more Fitbit Charge 6 videos, be sure to subscribe for free so you don't miss out.